Michigan State University is a world leader in nuclear science. Now a brand new facility coming right here to campus promises even more amazing discoveries. Michigan State University was selected by the Department of Energy Office of Science to design and build FRIB, a one-of-a-kind facility to study rare isotopes. It will transform the nuclear science efforts at MSU and has the potential to bring hundreds of millions of dollars and jobs to the state. It sunk in uh, within 30 seconds. <laughs> Uh, what it means, uh, what, what we now have to do is, is really get it done. Uh, one has to realize uh, uh, it is, uh, we, we have been selected to establish the facility. Uh, we're right now working with the Department of Energy to work out the details of a cooperative agreement. Uh, before that, no money can flow. And uh, then, of course, uh, we have to focus to, to get this done on time, on budget, safely and uh, make sure that at the same time we carry on with the science. So we have a stiff task ahead. So this is what we're focusing now and seeing how we do work this out in the details. <laughs> well, I'm sure we're a little more subdued, but I personally was skipping down the hallways, <laughs> which was a little strange, I guess, but um, no, everybody was out in the halls talking about it and we were all really excited. It is exciting. FRIB stands for Facility for Rare Isotope Beams. Rare isotopes are fleeting bits of matter inside atoms and not normally found on Earth. This new facility will produce and study rare isotopes, many of which are produced only in the super extreme environment of stars. They've been out of reach on Earth for the whole history of nuclear science. These atomic nuclei have the potential for amazing applications in science. The hope is that isotope research will help unlock many mysteries, including those in nuclear medicine, national security, and even the history of Earth and the universe. Stunning goals, absolutely, but within reach thanks to this achievement at MSU. Oh yes, I do, I do think so. I think this is a transformational facility. Uh, there's a vast uh, terrain of undiscovered science which EFRIP will explore in a, in a way uh, which I think is superior to anything which I've seen on the drawing boards worldwide. So it, is, uh, it, is, it will be a world-leading facility and it's our full intention to make this a world hub for this science. In other words, it's not just for MSU. Uh, MSU will be a center where the best people will want to come and conduct their research. And with all machines which are designed to uh, explore a terrain of science where nobody else has been before, it's sort of hard to predict exactly what the machine will do. We have a pretty good idea. Uh, the discovery potential is enormous, but what all the ramifications are, we can make guesses, for, pretty educated guesses, uh, but, but the full impact will, will be known in, in, in 10, 20 years. A lot of the fun part of doing science is that you don't know what's going to come. A lot of times we think that something's going to happen and we do the experiment and something completely different comes out and that's, you know, sometimes it takes a while to ex figure out why that happened but it's really exciting to learn new things about science and things that you never thought you were going to discover. That's just all part of research. <laughs> I think it is a very exciting uh, machine and uh, opens enormous possibility uh, both for research and because it is at a university, also for education. I mean, one should not forget uh, the best investment of a society is in the human resources as it has to train the best scientists and motivate them to, to do new discoveries. I believe knowledge is power and uh, to, to know more about nature enables us to, uh, to control our future in a much better way than before. Michigan State has long been a world-class facility for nuclear science. This is where one of the finest collections of minds is working on some of the most important challenges of our world. It is where scientists come together to solve the questions of our planet. And while this center and FRIB will be humming along right here on campus, the reach of knowledge extends globally. And FRIB is, is now the next step where I think we will be uh, the international leader in this research. and hopefully the most desirable place uh, to do this research with uh, I, I, the attitude where, where we want to bring in the users so that they, they're successful in doing their experiments 
and that they're welcome. And, and that's sort of a hallmark of how we do our business today. People, when they come here, they know we're doing everything to make them successful, and that's our success. Uh, being viewed as the facilitators uh, of the best ideas. And not all the best ideas come from, from our own faculty. There are a lot of good people out in the world, but what we want to do, bring them here, that they want to do their research here, and, uh, and, and, and then contribute to the science enterprise in a, in a positive way. We have the largest nuclear science faculty in the country. Uh, we train about 10% of the nation's nuclear physics or nuclear science PhD. So we are a significant contributor to new ideas, uh, to the science, but also to the uh, scientific work workforce. Uh, and, and our students then move on into a variety of fields. We really get hands-on experience as graduate students, and so to any students who might be thinking about nuclear science, it's a really good place to come. That experience is really rare, and sometimes I have to take a step back and just realize how much I'm doing here. So it's an all-around great experience, and you just learn so much as a graduate student here. There's living nature, there's the, the non-living nature. Okay, a rock, is that nature? A lake, is that nature? I mean, the lake is made of water. Uh, the water has waves. All these things are phenomena of, of nature. The wind, okay, it's air, which is in motion. There's turbulence. The turbulence is caused by sunshine. All these complicated interplays, this all nature. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> The one thing which, which is very clear, uh, the most important product is people who know something. So I, I actually am I'm very convinced uh, that people who really understand nature are, are the most important asset a country can have because these are the ones who can give you educated answers to sharp questions. At least the best answers. I mean, they, they may not always know everything. Scientists don't know everything. But it's the best knowledge we have, unless you, you, you want to just go into science fiction. So that, that is a very important resource for the country.